Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is apply Toolpath to an O-ring groove using 1CNC. Now, I'm using 1CNC Mill Expert, but it should be noted that the process I'm going to demonstrate is going to be exactly the same in all 1CNC CAD CAM systems. Also note that I'm using the dark theme, that's why the background and menus are dark. All right, so let's get started. If I'm going to machine this O-ring groove, I really need to create some wireframe geometry. So in preparation to that, I'm going to change the color to something a little bit brighter, and I'm going to change the line thickness to something a little thicker as well. Now we're going to head over to the Command Manager. We're going to go into our Model Tools, and we're going to select this option called Extract an Edge. Now it really doesn't matter if you select the inside or outside edge of the O-ring groove. I'm just going to left click on the inside and then right click when I'm finished. Great, so there is the wireframe geometry that we're going to apply our toolpath to. Alright, so let's quickly head over to the command manager. We're going to go into our stock toolpaths and choose mill profile. Now what you want to do is you want to select the geometry where you want to start machining. In this example, I'm going to select right here with the left click, and now you have your arrows. Now the arrows are really going to be important because we're designating the side and the direction. So I really want to be on this side, and because we're using the full width of the tool, it really doesn't matter which direction we select. I'm going to select that arrow with the left click, and then hit the F3 key on the keyboard to select the rest of the geometry. Once we've done that, we can right hand mouse click, and now it's time to define the tool. In this example, I'm using a 1 16th diameter ball end mill. My RPM is set to 7500. We'll click next on that. Now for the depth, I'm just using the radius of the ball end mill for the depth, but the depth for your part may be different depending on the solid model. All right, I'm going to say that looks fine, so we'll click next on that. Now I do want to ramp in, so I've got ramp selected. I'm going to use a ramp angle of 3 degrees. And notice how we have a safety max ramp depth parameter. The tool is never going to reach that depth. That's just a safety value. All right, I think that looks great. We'll click next on that. I don't need to worry about step over distance, but I do want to make sure I have zero for finish leave on sides. We'll click next on that. We don't need an extra finish pass, so we're going to leave that set to no. We'll click next. And for lead in and lead out style, make sure you have none selected. That's because we're using the width of the tool to machine the O-ring groove. So we don't want the tool path to deviate off course. So make sure those are both set to none. Click finish and let 1CNC generate the tool path. All right, let's take a look at what the tool path looks like. We're going to head over here into our NC manager. Let's right hand mouse click on the tool path group and select simulate. I'm going to be using a solid model I created earlier for the stock. We'll click OK to that. And here we go. Notice how the tool is ramping in. I'm going to speed up the simulation just a little bit. And notice when it gets to the beginning, it's going to overlap where it ramped in to make sure there's a constant depth of cut all the way around that O-ring groove. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.